All right, welcome back. Uh, big thanks to Magnum. Um, we were able to purchase the Hunter 2 and Hunter 3. One of them was at Mosquito and Oldberg. Then the other one was at Winding. So I went to Mosquito and Winding. So in other words, one of them you can get Mosquito or Oldberg. They're in stock those two places. And the other one is just at Winding. Uh, at the low level lakes, apparently Hunter 1 is not to be found, but that's okay. We got two of them and that's all we need. And so those just gives us those options to rotate through. All right, we got a little bit of time on this rough order, although it's a little bit late in the morning. Are we going to get that? Or we could get white bream. Let's just go try it. So the problem is I've got 12 silver. In other words, I don't have enough silver to travel back to quarry, but we have the lures. So let's just catch a few fish, make a little bit of silver, travel to quarry, and then we can keep trolling. We've gotten very low on silver, but hey, we've got the lures now. We can settle in and um, eventually open up wobblers, and then we'll really be in business. I bet I need to change this, don't I? Let's see. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with the Proton Pro. Probably not since it's what we're fishing for. But I definitely need my Adriatica. All right, so let's go with Percy. Oh, you know it'd be funny? If I forced myself to troll Mosquito. That'd be a lot of fun and games, wouldn't it? Y'all would just laugh and laugh. Honestly, the reason why I don't want to troll Mosquito, we don't have a base? Daggum. Uh, the reason why I don't want to troll Mosquito is because I think we probably would hook into some pike. And how silly would that be to lose, like, when we don't have any silver right now? To lose one of our lures that we want to use at quarry on a pike bite. 18 worm, that should be good. I didn't clip it. We'll see if that still works. So we need at least some freaking crackers to make some basic ground bait so we're not wasting other ground bait on this. Might as well, right? I gotta drink my coffee. What am I thinking? We gotta prioritize our life right now. Coffee comes first. Fishing second. So as long as we catch some markers here. Gonna get three. So we've got 10.3 silver and we need 25.9. <laughs> it is not cheap to travel to Cory. Well, and we know that if this doesn't work out, we can just go throw bread and peas or just bread in that spot over there and we'll get there in no time with that bite rate. All right, let's see what we're catching here. That is a rough, and that is a good size rough. Let's just do some basic ground bait here. Continue to level that ground bait. We're getting fairly close to 15%, which I think is when we open up the next recipes, unless it's all the way to 20, but I think it might be 15. Right. We're on the fish. Are we on the fish? I don't think that's on there. Is that a fake bite? Take the rig out of the water. It's out the water, yo.
I'm not sure if I remember to switch that ground bait. Perch. We'll give it one more round of fish here, and if the fish don't get better, we're going to move to the uh, Crucian Gibble Roach spot. We just need to claw our way to uh, a few silver here. I wish it was overnight. We'd go do that semolina trick. It'd really be nice if it was overnight because then we could get it done and then go to daytime trolling at quarry. This is kind of screwing us up, but it's all right. We will survive. shoot let's don't waste our time here Three different hook sizes. Oh man, we're going to have a server restart tonight. It's actually in... An hour and a half? Okay. So I got to watch that. 
I have got to keep my eye on that. We literally have two marker fish right now. Are we going to keep catching white bream there during the day? Now I feel like I'm... Now I feel like I'm... Like, losing my mind. But I'm sitting here thinking, like, isn't there a white bream order? Isn't there a small white bream order? Or am I not remembering that right? We need to go check the cafe. White bream dot will they even come in all day or is it just gonna be like perch and stuff right now? How did we ever make it on mosquito? It seems so hard now. <laughs> I don't think the Russian players like fishing at quarry or something, or maybe they're just... Yeah, we just need one more little white bream. How much time do we have? I mean, that's 22 silver right there. We've got 62 hours. Okay, duh. That's what we go for. Um, they just don't update spots on quarry on this site very often. Maybe quarry hasn't been seen as a hot place to fish lately, but... I know a lot of people have doing, been doing pretty well there overall. That's a regular bream. So I think if the white bream are not active, we'll catch regular bream, right? And then eventually one will come in. How is that even possible? I'm going back and forth here folks but I just realized like there is no point in me doing anything other than just waiting to catch this last white bream or just get a few rough or whatever we catch here I mean we just need a little bit of silver but I don't think grinding away on roach and stuff is the answer to be honest Especially with what time it is. We'll be getting, um, we should be getting white bream again here pretty soon. And if we don't, like I said, overnight, we'll just go back into that back spot with some Alina and we'll just kill it on big fatty stuff and then we'll be good either way.
Boom. Okay. I think that's enough. Let's go do what we came here to do and troll around Cory. Right? Yeah, either way, we would have gotten several of these orders either way if we had kept fishing. All right, so the rest of these fish are worth 5.44 silver. Let's test something here. Five point four four. Skillful comment, another great video, gonna say, uh, give those small spoons a try. Awesome, thank you, Skillful. Uh, skillful, did you leave a comment earlier about 5.60? So the fish are worth slightly more at quarry. So if you got a bunch of fish, you know you're going to quarry anyway and you can afford to, just hold on to them. Look at these crazy bottom feeder orders, I'm telling you. Skillful, did you leave a message saying something about you having Proton 6000s and how you use them or something? I could have sworn I saw that and now I don't see the comment anymore, so I don't know what happened. All right, let's go with uh, one, two, buckle my shoe. Actually, you know what? Let's put the Proton on one and let's do, we'll do them in numerical order. So that's Hunter 2. And that's Hunter 3. Was there anything that has to do with us? Cor yeah, a char trophy. Nice. Okay. Let's go catch a char trophy. It's also a weird Venn disorder, but. All right. So the spoons sink pretty fast, but just like the spinners, as we start trolling, they start rising, right? Got them a little too far out. I don't know that we're going to see the fish. We need to uh, throw, cast them a little less distance. I still kind of saw that one. Arctic. Yeah, 50% even might be a little too. All right, so it's a sunny day, calm. That's better. We should be able to see that a little better. I think. Okay. Uh, Delmas says, thing always stuck in the soil. How do you remove it from the water? 
how to use the marker rod oh, that's an old video how do you how do you remove it from the water oh I think you just have to increase your drag Delmas that, that it's a heavy that marker rod is it's got a heavy thing on there and so it's just kind of pulling against the spool so you have to up your drag a little bit I think that's what you're talking about I don't really know for sure but I think Tech comment, lol, I got a trophy Cory Char. Nice. What did you uh what you catch it on? Grats, Kentech. Delmas left another comment. I'm enjoying your videos. You can understand my accent. That's great. Thank you for the support. Thanks for being here. Farid says, first, can I get a, can I get likes? Sure. I think I already liked your comment. Thanks for being first. And he also later commented, he or she, very uh, new video. Love your content. I learned a lot from your video and I'm in love with this game. That's awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos as well as this game. All right, so the idea here is, even if these spoons seem a little slower, which they do right now, these hunter spoons will catch some really nice fish. Uh, in fact, we're very, we're, we're definitely entering into we could get spooled territory with putting these things on here, but we'll see how it goes. Whoa. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do to be on the safe side, quote unquote, Go ahead and start turning my boat, and I'm going to put this one away. When I hear a screamer like that on, what I don't want is to get another fish on the other line. Especially with undersized gear. Um, yeah, we just don't want that. So, All right, let's, let's creep this friction break up to 26. Should be high enough. And then let's just try to keep the tension on as we watch our Proton 6000 take some damage. Yeah, right now we're just trying to get some of our line back, to be honest. I don't want to drive right at the fish, but it's already gone a pretty good distance away from, away from us. So our main concern right now is not letting any more line get off our, our reel, if possible. Where the heck is it? Oh, I see it. We gotta be careful with the uh, mountain over here. We don't wanna get stuck where we can't turn very fast since we're already running the risk of getting spooled a little bit. But as long as it's not too much of a monster, we, uh, all right, this is what I'm talking about. I don't really know which way I should turn the boat. He's kind of stuck there, up against the wall. We need him to make up his mind. He's in that deep hole. That's how he has, has so much line out. What a disaster this would be, getting stuck on that wall. All right, now he's free to free to fly, and we need to try to start working on getting some energy back. So we're just taking whatever line he gives us, and he is pulling line sort of as he wants, no restriction at all from our from our break. So 
So I'm not reeling as I'm lifting it up. I'm just, he's just taking line. And then reeling it in as I drop it as I can. And we don't have to lift the rod. I mean, that's part of what drained our energy so fast is just that weight of lifting this rod, but It looks like he's up sort of near the surface. Yeah, he's he's going pretty fast now, so we're having a little bit of a difficult time keeping up with him. We turned him for a second there. pretty deep again. I really hope we see what this fish is. I'm just so curious. Could just be a lake trout, but it kind of feels like, to me, like it might not be a lake trout. I don't know. It's, you know, it's just so much more powerful than our gear. It's, it's really hard to tell what it is. It's hard to uh, pick up on the details of the way it's biting us, considering the mismatch of strength here. This fish might be worth more than our reel is, to be honest. I'm just kidding, but, you know, it's, uh, not a completely I don't want to be heading straight for it but it keeps moving quit quit as soon as I turn it moves in that direction all right there it is it's either a lake trout or like an arctic or something I got the, just saw the face of it and it saw us and it didn't like the look of us look at it it is charging All right, now we're far enough away from it. I didn't like being on top of it like that. That's not the way we want to approach it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Did you see it dive? So as it's getting tired, it's like letting us pull him for longer and longer. Yeah, it's an Arctic. I didn't think it was a lake chart. So that's maximum experience points received for one fish, 7,803. And for us, that is a nice fish. A really nice fish and that completely wore me out all right Wow that was an interesting place we caught it right just kind of like right over there the best fish we've caught yet here at Cory. But look how inefficient that was. That's what you get when you come here with undersized gear. I mean, we spent, I don't know how long, not quite nine minutes, but a while fighting that fish. All right, 
what did the hunter three catch here? A little lake trout. These hunter lures are so good. They will often catch a fish just when you throw them in the water, just while they're sinking. That's how, um, that's how uh, potent they are at times. So I would say it's definitely worth with these, letting them drop sometimes and then rise back up to the surface. I got this one on again. The Arctics are out tonight. I'm okay with that. So we're already over uh, halfway to level 17 with the little bit of fishing we've done there. You see that? That fish got on while the lure was dropping. It's another Arctic. Not quite a marker. I'm really bummed we're gonna have two hours of downtime tonight. Like, we just got, job, just got done with some work. Thought we were going to really be able to get a couple of videos in. I definitely will do this one, obviously, and then we'll see if it comes back up. If I'm not busy with work, I'll maybe try to get one more in later tonight. We'll see. Yeah, so we're getting towards the end of the night. We don't have long to troll left, is why I'm doing this. Let's, uh... Well, did you see that fish got away? So a little fish must have gotten on there while we were trolling. And then popped off, and then another one got on. That was kind of crazy. Hopefully we don't need to be trolling for this, because we're not. Nah, that's not too big. Nice. I'm telling you, the Arctic chars are uh, are in a good mood. Look at this. Seven out of eight fish have been Arctic chars. I don't think this is a big runner. It pulled a little bit at first, but I think we got this one under control. That's a lake trout. I did not know we were that close to the island. Holy cow. Oh, you know what? We were going to try burbot off the island, weren't we? Okay. Do we dare fish for burbot with our, um, 
our smaller rigs. I might literally might not be able to get them in. We could maybe do it cautiously though. In terms of hook size. It's time to get set up for Burbit. I was hoping we were gonna get one more. One more fish. There we go. It's weird how things change, isn't it? Like, remember how many graylings we were getting on the uh, spinner baits? Now we're using now we're using these hunters and we're getting a ton of um, a ton of Arctic chars. It's interesting. You know, we, when we can afford it, we need to go ahead and get another decent feeder rod because with the uh, Proton Pro 6000, we could turn that into a pretty nice setup. So we'll prioritize doing that as soon as possible. All right, so this one, we're gonna really go for it here. We're gonna go We're going to see if we can't get a burbot. Do we clip here? Uh, let's clip 25 and see where that looks like. So we're going for that 15 meter hole. But it's a long way to the bottom. I mean, it's a it's a weird cast, right? Because how deep it is right there. I think 25 will do it, though. Look how deep that is. If anything, that might be leaning against the edge of the hole. Maybe we need to do more like a 30 clip when possible. All right, and so with these, we're going to go much more like reasonable, and we're going to put fake bream bait on just in case there's any bream in this hole, which that's probably too much to ask, but... Just for fun. And then do we also want to check for like... Just like rough and stuff, maybe. Did I do 30 clip on that last one? I wanna get 30 clip on this one. I think we kinda it went right to the edge of the hole. Let's we'll see what it looks like on 30 clip. I don't know. We may not catch anything here all night, but if the burbot are still biting, at least on our front line, <clears throat> we should we should get one. Even if it's a small one, we should get something. Normally, I would hook, fish with either large one or one-aught hooks for burbot. But we don't really have the gear for like catching a trophy burbot, you know? So we're going to do a size four and see see what we get. So it says there's an hour until server restart, but it also says it's at 1 a.m. Eastern, which is right now. So it's a little bit of a mixed message there. If I suddenly get disconnected, I'll just have to wrap this video up. up. I think we've still got an hour, according to their countdown timer, but... It also says Eastern time right now, so it's a little confusing. We'll see.
which would be a bummer if I don't get to show you how much that Arctic char is worth. I don't know that it'll be worth that much. I'm just saying it's probably a decent fish, decent price, maybe like what, 20 silver, I'm hoping. I have no idea. It's been a long time since I've fished at quarry enough to get an idea of those prices. Oh, we got a point in bait harvesting off of digging. It's pretty rare at this point. We'll probably just have to check that third line eventually because be a sneaky rough down there we wouldn't hardly get a pull all right so the middle line the one with the size eight hook oh we're also getting a burbot it's not a hundred percent that it's a burbot but it's most likely a burbot on that first line i am definitely not going to screw with it till we can definitely tell there's a fish on the oh shoot what a bummer What a stinking bummer, guys. Well, we got 42 minutes in. I'm going to still post this episode. And uh, once the ser server comes back up, I'm going to try to do another episode. That way you can see what that fish was worth. And then we'll also come back here and try to catch a burbot. Dang, that stinks. All right, I'll see you next time.